Hey guys, sorry I'm not there to teach you this today, but hopefully this video helps you understand some parable, parabola applications. The most common applications of parabolas are seen in light bulbs, or really any um, like bulb shape, bowl shaped objects that's trying to concentrate either light or heat or something else in one spot. The really cool application is that if you look over here at the cross section, <coughs> If you put a light source at the focus of the parabola, so this right here would be the focus, it will concentrate, or all of the light that <clears throat> hits off the wall of the parabola will go out in a straight line. So you can end up concentrating light in one direction rather than having the light go off everywhere from the light bulb. So that's pretty cool. The other place we'll see parabolas are in suspension bridges. So it's just going to be this middle section that we're talking about when we're looking at the par parabola shape. So let's look at page one of the packet. <clears throat> Our problem has, it gives us an equation, x squared equals 32y, modeling the cross section of a parab parabolic mirror that's used for solar energy. So in this case, it's actually instead of a light source, it's a heating tube of some sort that's at the focus and that way all of the um, heat is just going to go straight out the front. Um, so we want to know how high we should locate this tube above the bottom of the parabola. So that white line, how tall is that? Now notice I drew my picture um, facing opening up and I knew to do that because my, I knew my x was squared and that this coefficient here is positive. So it's important to remember our general form. We have x minus h squared equals oops, equals 4p y minus k. So obviously at my center is going to be at the origin. So these are both 0, h, and k. So I'm left with x squared equals 4py. So now I know that 4p is 32 equals 32. So P in this case is 8. So that's really what the question was asking because we know the focus is going to be P units or 8 units from the vertex. So whatever our units are in this case, we should locate the heating tube 8 units above the vertex. All right, so page two is actually a little bit harder because we have to create our own equation, but it's really just going to be plugging in numbers. So this time we're giving a searchlight with a parabolic reflector. The para parabolic bowl is 16 inches wide, rim to rim, and 12 inches deep. And we know the filament of the light bulb, so that light source is located at the focus. And we want two things. We want the equation for the cross section of the parabola. And then we also want to know how far away we should place that, ver that filament, the light source, from the vertex. So I'm going to translate my picture onto a coordinate grid since we have to write an equation. That will probably be helpful. So I'm going to put my vertex at the origin because that's usually our easiest situation. And then I'm going to go up from there. Now we know it's 12 inches high, so I know up here my y is going to be 12. So if I wanted to write the coordinates for this point, this corner point, if I'm 16 inches across, I do need to divide that in half, so that's going to be 8. So it's going to be 8, 12. And then this one over here would be negative 8, 12. So here's another example of where we have to divide something in half. Now that's all the information we know, but we do know that our equation is going to be of the form x squared equals 4py. No h and k because they're both 0. So I can actually use one of these points and plug those coordinates into my general form, which will then let me solve for p, which is really what I need. So I'm just going to use 8, 12. So I'm going to plug 8 in for x. So I'll do 8 squared equals 4p. Don't know what p is. And then I'm going to plug 12 in for y. So 64 equals 48p. Divide both sides by 48 divide by 48, and we're going to get p equals, what's that, 8 over 6, which is 4 thirds. So p is about 
3 forever and ever and ever. So if I was going to write my equation, I'm going to use my fraction. So let's not use this decimal. Fractions are a little bit nicer in this equation. So I'm going to use that, and I'm going to just plug that now in over here. And then I'll have a general form. So let's do that over here. I've got x squared equals 4 times, well, p was 4 thirds. So 4 thirds y. Now I could make that look a little bit nicer, and I could say x squared equals... 16 thirds y, if you think that's nicer. So there's my answer to part A, my equation. Um, now in part B, we want to know how from the vertex is the filament of the light bulb. Well, that's always just P. So part B, we're basically looking for P. So I already found that right here. Um, so it's going to be 4 thirds of an inch is my answer there. So if I have this um, this searchlight, I know that the filament or the, or the light source is four-thirds of an inch from the vertex. Now, I'm going to stop here and let you guys try three and etc. on in this packet. So three and four are pretty similar, though four is an upside down here. I'll do a few hints. Hang on. All right, here are a few hints, just I drew the pictures for you. So in number three, we've got the middle part of a, sus a suspension bridge, um, and the towers are 600 feet apart and 100 feet high, so I tried to draw that for you. Um, and you're going to do that same thing where you're going to plug. You'll find the coordinates of these top points. Remember to divide 600 by 2, um, and then plug those numbers in. And then in number four, though, we've actually got an upside-down parabola, so you've got to remember that this is going to have a negative coefficient and it's also you're going to change the center um, a good idea for a center might be 0 40 up here at the, or excuse me not the center the vertex and number five shouldn't be too bad number six not that bad um they give you p in that and then seven and eight are actually both circles so give it your best shot. We'll look at um, any issues you have tomorrow in class. And feel free to send me any emails or school messages.